What's going on, fifth grade? This is your Mr. Dooley. Welcome to, we are on day number two or three, depending on if you're virtual or face-to-face. -face. But either way, today's writing day is on the introduction paragraph. So in our a little plot here of where your pair or what your essay should look like. Again, five paragraphs intro, body one, body two, body three, and conclusion. One, two, three, four, five. We're on the very first one. So an introduction paragraph, put simply, is the very first paragraph of your essay, hence over here on our little little format guide. And here it is, introduction paragraph. What does it do? Well, first and foremost, it tells the reader the main topic and subtopics. What does that mean? Well, in a sense, if your main topic is, for my example today, the great white shark, then your introduction paragraph is going to tell the reader that that is your main topic. And then as well as giving the subtopics. So in my essay for great white shark, my subtopics are talking about its diet, so what it eats, its body length, so the weight, length of its body, height, all that, and then also where in the world that they live. So those would be my three subtopics. Main topic, great white shark, your subtopics, for me at least, weight, length, diet, and then of course, where in the world that they live. So you'll see my example of, what it, of your introduction paragraph as soon as I put it up, but I wanna talk about a few more things. So first of all, even though we call this a paragraph, it's a lot shorter than your normal paragraph. It's gonna be about two or three sentences. And almost all introduction paragraphs have sort of a pattern of starting, at least when we're talking about your age group of writers, fifth grade, sixth grade, you're all gonna kind of start the same way. And a lot of people, and I've taught in the past, feel more comfortable starting this way. Today, I will be telling you about, and I put the dot, dot, dot there because I don't know your topic, but that's where you put your main topic. Today, I'll be writing about, or writing, writing, telling you, writing to you about what a great white shark is. Or if it's another topic, like today, I'll be writing to you about what Fortnite is. Because again, I know a lot of our essay topics are gonna be a lot more, say more tailored toward what you're interested in. Because again, I've made that very clear that I want your expository essay, again, the essay that explains, I want that topic to be interesting to you so that you want to go out and do more research about it to find out and of course also bring with you your prior knowledge, your prior experience to that topic. So again, what you're doing is you're telling the reader about your main topic and then also stating your subtopics. Those are two separate sentences, hence the two to three sentences. Now, to follow this, I'm going to put up my example of my introduction. And I've just wrote this, it did not take me but about 45 seconds, but that is because I've done it before. This may take you longer than 45 seconds. I'm hoping that it does so it doesn't come out uh, gibberish and nonsensical. You want to make sure that this makes sense. Check mine out. Sentence number one. In this essay, I will be writing about the great white shark. Boom. First sentence done. I'm halfway there. I've given my main topic, which is the great white shark. So if we look over at my checklist, stated my main topic. I can knock that off the list. Now. Listen to my next sentence. I will be explaining their diet, their body length and weight, and finally, where in the world they live. Oh, that was my three subtopics. Look where they are, boys and girls. If I go in and circle where I state my main sub or my subtopics, I've got diet there, body length plus weight. So those are that's two. So one, two, and then where in the world they live. Big circle there, but check it out. Subtopic one, diet. Subtopic two, body length and weight. And then subtopic three, where in the world they live. I have stated my other two subtopics. So I can take state subtopics on my checklist and check it off. And just like that, I am one, check this out, one paragraph out of five away from being done with my essay. Isn't that cool? So again, to kind of recap, an introduction paragraph is just a paragraph that tells me or other readers what you're about to write about. Because it's no fun having to read an essay where they just go right into it. I mean, the great white shark has a very, a very diverse diet of large fish and other mammals and other sea mammals. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're going to learn about the great white shark today, but I don't know that. I don't know what I'm about to learn. So that's why introduction paragraphs are good. They ease the reader into what you have written for them. If you tell a story, it's the same way. You don't just jump into the action. Like in Harry Potter, you don't just say, oh, Harry then cast a spell to defeat the Death Eater. What, what are we talking about? What are any of these names? Just nonsense words at that point. You gotta have a nice intro, a good sort of starting point for what, you're, for what your writing is about to be. And for expository essays, it's important to give your main topics, your subtopics, and of course, keep it nice and short, two to three sentences. This has been the introduction paragraph day for our writing unit and expository essay writing. Hope you guys are having a great day out there. I've been Mr. Dooley, and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta.